Ahora sí, hemos llegado al final, capítulo 5 de Life is Strange to Colors. Bienvenidos todos. Y los que están viendo esto en YouTube, si no me siguen en Twitch, síganme en Twitch. Welcome back, Alex. Do you want to talk about your time in Colorado? Let's start with something positive. What did you learn from your visit to Haven Springs? I learned to let myself feel, I guess, and to not be afraid of those feelings. Couldn't one argue that those old fears turned out to be justified? What do you make of that friction? I suppose I'm proud of you for trying. You helped some people. Chased a mystery. Got to kiss a pretty girl. But Alex, you're right back where you started. You're wrong. I don't belong in here. If that were true, Alex, you'd know you were talking to an empty chair. Ah, chinga. Cada día más esquizofrénicos. ¿Qué pedo? These don't belong to Dr. Lin. Tócate una que todos se sepan para que la cantemos juntos. No chinga, esta ya no me la sé. Escucha feo, ¿no? Nos quedamos atorados en una tabla, ¿no? No mames, estamos bien puteados. Ah, mira, qué suerte. Quedó aquí una escalera. No, pero esto debe estar muy frágil, ¿no? Igual no es que tengamos mucha fuerza para hacerlo. O sea, es que sí se metió un buen putazo. Ah, chinga. Estoy muerto. Gabe. Muerta. Muerte. No sé. You're dead. So? Lots of people are dead, Alex. Most people. Where are we? You are 10. I am 14. Our mother is sick. So is our father. But it's a different kind of sickness. Alex, go check on your mother. You almost never cried, even when you were very small. Did you know that? That's been my biggest challenge with you. How do you take care of someone who is already so strong Your brother, your father, they are going to need you. You have to be strong. 
we would do that, Alex. Brave girl. How do you ever get so brave? Was that the last time you talked to her? Mom. I... I think so. Do you miss her? Gabe, what's going on? You're 11, I'm almost 15. Dad and I are time bombs. You keep running back and forth, trying to defuse us both. This is going to suck so bad. Play your part. What do I do? What do I do? What can I do? Open the door. Oh, shit. Where are you going? Are you going to tell her? Or is that my job? Keep your voice down. Fine. I'll do it. Alex, Dad lost his job. Again. So we're broke. Again, don't talk to me that way. Despite what you may believe, you do not know everything. You think what? I laid myself off? It's okay. We'll figure it out. I could, um... I don't know, Dad. But what are we supposed to do now? We gotta eat? We can sell some records. Or, or what about my guitar? We can sell that? Alex, what is it gonna take to get you to stop defending him? If your mother could see you now... I don't want to hear about Mom. Babe! <laughs> I'm so tired of you using her as an excuse to be a piece of shit. <laughs> Don't fucking touch me, piece of shit. Dad. <gasps> ah, la verga. Damn it, Alex. La no kill, güey. It's okay. It was an accident. Alex, I, 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 I didn't. Dad, Dad, it's okay. Really, I'm not hurt. <laughs> I can't do this. Dad? Se va a ir. Nos va a abandonar. Someone will come. That woman from CPS. Someone. I'm sorry. No. Uh, no. Dad! Es el llamero que le dio su mamá, ¿no? Digo, por si, por si no entendieron un poquito el contexto, esto pasó cuando Alex tenía 11 y Gabe tenía 15. O sea, estaban pequeños todavía. Eran adolescentes, no podían como que estar, en, o sea, estar trabajando o algo, ¿saben? Entonces es algo muy culero. Ah, 
Ando bien puteado. También desde donde me caí. Lo que no me quedó muy claro es dónde quedó la... O sea, la bala sí me dio. O nada más fue el roce. No, oh, mira, qué buena suerte. Qué oportuno. Ah, sí, el cerillo que agarramos en el episodio anterior. O antepasado. Todavía jala esto. No mames, qué miedo. I've got to find a way out of here. Por aquí no creo. Yo creo que sí vamos a tener que estar avanzando bastante. Ay, oh, estoy bien pinche oscuro ahí. Pues esto claramente era una mina. Ahorita empiezan a salir caníbales, ¿no? Un pedo así. Algo bien fumado. Espero y no. Espérate, eso es gas, ¿no? No, 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 no. Come on, no, 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 no. No. A ver, ya sé. No. Oigan, es que no se ve nada. Ya. Okay. That's something. That aura. Es the only lead I've got. This is what Typhon tried to bury. A lot of runoff moisture in this soil. Jed, we gotta call it. This stick is fucked. Nothing's Jed. fucked. Jed, we got no pumps running. No, my teams have never quit a dick this deep before. We finish the job. Recuerden que a Jed lo reconocen mucho en el pueblo por haber salvado a algunos mineros. Steady. Fuck us. Who's on radio? Jed! Fuck! Jed! Jed! Oh my god. We gotta move! Now! There's still men back there! They'll drown! Yeah, and so will we if we don't get the fuck out! Make the call, Jed! Aquí hay algo. ¿Es esto lo que intentaban enterrar? Ah, no. Dad. O sea, aquí era... Aquí fue donde terminó. No puedo creerlo. No me lo esperaba. I've come to realize what makes Haven so special. Sí, pendeja. It's a flower shop run by multiple generations. A bar owner who greets every customer by name. It's a spring festival tradition going back a hundred years. No le crean, está mintiendo. Loyalty. Pride. Son todos unos mentirosos. These values which define Haven are the same values that Typhon was built on. And that is why our partnership has been so successful. 
It's been my privilege to renew Haven's gorrito. commitment to Haven. We believe in this community, and we're tremendously excited for its future. Thank you, Diane. I think I speak for all of us when I say we're eager to make this official. So, time to vote, folks. And then lunch. Sí, pinche idiota. Chimora se culió. Se culió cuando me vio entrar. Ah, nada más porque andaba bien madreada, si no se le partía a su madre. A los dos, él. Los dos contra mí solo. Alex. Oh my god. I'm fine. You are not fine. We have to get you to a doctor. What happened to you? Te digo. Les digo a todos. Les voy a decir. I found out something you need to hear. I'm sorry. What? Alex, you're hurt. <sighs> Do you need help? We can call an ambulance. Ah, and, and so has Jed Lucan. Alex, what's going on? Sí, pendejo. Fuck you. Me pinche hoy, dijo te ayudo, culero. What the hell happened? Ando bien emperrado, eh. Ando bien emperrado, eh. I was down in the mine last night. I saw what Typhon's been hiding for 12 years. Jed Lucan isn't a hero. That whole story is a lie. Jed caused the accident. And then he abandoned seven of his men. He let them drown to save himself. Ah, oh, well. There were pictures of me and Gabe down there in the dirt. Because one of those miners was my father. Typhon wanted to keep this covered up in case it jeopardized the vote. All they care about is making more money. They'll do whatever it takes to push this expansion through. So they decided to bury the evidence. And nothing was going to stop that blast. Not even the fact that there were four people up in the mountains. That's how Gabe was killed. Jed knew all along. He covered up the truth about the past, about Gabe. And when I found out, as you can see, he tried to kill me too. These accusations are, well, they're insane. And trying to go into the mine was obviously a very dangerous, very illegal thing to do. But we all sympathize with your situation. You've been through so much. Your brother was your only family, wasn't he? I can only imagine how much you want an explanation for his loss. Something to give you comfort and make your life seem less unfair. You know there's proof of the cover-up. You had Pike arrest me to suppress the evidence. Officer Pike arrested you for stealing items from my purse. Perhaps you were looking for evidence? And I found it. Which is why you and Jed tried to threaten me into silence. Dad? Do you have any idea what Alex is talking about? No. I don't. I've tried to be there for Alex since Gabe died. I thought, I don't know. I hoped I could be something of a father figure to her. All I can guess is, sometimes when we're hurting, the people we lash out at are the ones who are trying to help. Please. I know this is hard to accept. You all trust him. I did too. But I'm telling the truth. I believe you. Of course I do. I believe you too. I'm horrified and shocked and still processing everything, but I believe you.
¿Y tú, papito, qué? Remember the terms of your settlement. Screw your settlement. I would never take that money. Que te vayas a la pinche cola, dice. I would like to speak. Échale, échale. O sea, también es mi compa. También me tiene que creer. This young lady came to Haven as a stranger, but over the last few weeks, she's become one of us. Now. Her story certainly seems unlikely, if not impossible. But she deserves at least an investigation of her claims. We ought to take her seriously. I agree with Ducky. I've always found Alex to be a very trustworthy person. She wouldn't make these accusations lightly. Something must have happened. Miss Lath, there's no actual evidence of anything. Maybe not, but that's what I think. Actually, Diane, there is evidence. Oh, for fuck's sake. Have a USB stick full of recordings. Yes. Andele, andele culera. Your superiors closed the case. None of us have time for conspiracies. Nos vale tres hectáreas de verga. Tenemos las pruebas, culera. You're trying to weasel your way out of things again, huh? I know your game. I know. Don't test me, Jason. Okay, culito, culito. I'm not scared of you anymore. And not of you, not Typhon. All right, that's enough. Deputy Pike, do you have some kind of personal issue with me? Like hell I do. Jason. Well, given that your judgment in this matter is emotionally compromised, you should probably remove yourself oh, from... cut the crap. If you think you could shut me up... Jason, with... I think you better call it now. I would like to speak again. It concerns me that a voting member of this council has openly admitted... To I'm really sorry. This is a load of bullshit. Should... <laughs> I don't believe this is getting it. ridiculous. No. I'm sorry, Alex. Dad. Please. Come clean. We'll figure it out together. It amazes me. The extent to which she has manipulated you. Come on, Dad. Never in a million years. Come on. I hate seeing you do this. My own son. Dad. My own goddamn son! Stop. I know why you tried to kill me. It's not what you tell yourself. That you thought it was best for Haven. This was never about Haven at all, was it? This was about you. I know it's easier not having to think about the men you buried. You want to look away and pretend the people you hurt aren't people. But I won't let you. My father worked for you. His name was John. The world never gave a shit about him. He was always struggling just to get by. He still hoped one day things would be better. But you killed him. And then Gabe, my big brother. You know, when we were kids, we goofed around to escape, to pretend everything was better for a little while. When I got to Haven, the first thing we did was dance around like total dorks. And it wasn't an escape from anything. He was happy for the first time in his life. 
but he died because of you. And then there's me. For so many years, I just wanted to survive, to get through. They even changed me. I started to think about the future. I want to help people. Because it's something I'm good at. Knowing I'm good at something feels fucking great. And you tried to murder me. You would have ended my life just so you wouldn't have to face the truth. You've forgotten it, haven't you? You've plastered over it with another story. You tell yourself you're a hero, a strong leader. Sometimes that means making hard choices, decisions that could lead to people dying. Few men could handle that. Haven's lucky to have you. But that's the lie. If you scrape it away, what do we see? Eleven years ago, you led a group of men to their deaths. And you couldn't even say those words out loud because you're a coward. You couldn't imagine saying it to your wife, saying it in front of your son. Every day you were brave enough to go underground and look death in the eye, but you couldn't muster the courage to admit a mistake. I can feel you trying to pull away. Don't. The truth hurts. Sometimes it's so awful you think you're gonna break. But when you come out the other side and you're whole and free and still alive, then you'll finally know how strong you really are. see the truth about you. You hate yourself. You hate what you did in the past. You hate what you've done to keep it secret. And the more you deny that hatred, the worse it grows. I know who you are. I've seen the worst parts of you. And I forgive you. O sea, sí le quería partir su madre, pero tampoco fue tan culero. ¿eh? Te lo van a llevar a la cárcel, dígame que sí, por favor. All right. Just tell me. What? My future. What to do? The night of the Springfest, 
Steph made a strong push for leaving with her. Playing on the road. The excitement of the unknown. Of course, that was before all the shit went down. <laughs> Come on, you're the know-it-all. So tell me. Actually, I do know what you should do. You should stay in Haven. Pues sí. Of course. Digo, o sea, estaría right. rico. I've never had a home before. A mí me gusta aquí, la verdad. Friends, a job, a place to live. Why would I give that up now? Then again, maybe leaving would be better. Eh? What? You're young, you suddenly have a little money, friends. And don't you think it's time to give this music thing a real shot? No, you should definitely leave. Oh, fuck off. No me está confundiendo. Stop it, Gabe. I don't need <laughs> Los muertos no hablan, callese. Right now. I just need I just need my big brother. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I know. But here's something. Efectivamente. It's three hours from now. A bus pulls away. You're not on it. And neither is Steph. Life goes on. You get a job working with Steph at the record store. All those years of being a music snob finally pay off. And little by little, time does its thing. The apartment starts to feel less like a museum and more like a home. The rooftop is your stage. You perform every week to a small but adoring group of fans. Maybe while you play, you wonder what could have been. Performing for more people in more cities, sharing your music with the world. Or maybe you never think about that much at all. You don't know exactly when it happens, but one day you look around and find that you have transformed this place just as much as it has transformed you. And the most extraordinary thing of all is just how normal it feels. You don't question it. You don't doubt it. Or wonder what might have been. It's your life. The life you fought so hard to have. And for the first time in a long time, you just live.
Thank you. Don't mention it. You really think I'll transform Haven? Of course. You already have. With your gift, your music, just by being you. But Alex, that doesn't mean you have to stay. You have the potential to do that anywhere you go. Where am I supposed to go? I don't have any other home. That is true. But you didn't have any home before coming here. And look what happened. The truth is, there's no telling what that version of your future might be. The only promise is the adventure. So, what do you think? La verdad, prefiero quedarme. I know what I want. Siento que es lo mejor. Aparte es lo que les digo, aquí está muy bonito, güey. Está muy bonito para vivir, está muy tranquilo, 